disliking me is one story. <laughs> Being able to whoop my motherfucking ass is a whole nother story. See, while a bitch may talk about me like a fucking dog, she ain't never gonna walk me like one. So y'all just gonna stay safe. Oh. Now that you know I already look like a bird, y'all gonna sit here and make me look like that. Why are my eyes so far apart? I, I'm already. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome to another Eve of Taza. I just picked Sarah up from the station and we've got some Mackie's. She's in her room unpacking stuff, but got some chips with some sweet curry sauce and. Mmm, a nice cheeseburger with just cheese and ketchup. Mmm. Say, say hello. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Let's see that. No worries, boss family. Me, you're helping me out. I really appreciate it. The thing is, I've actually done every single one of those steps since I started. And, um,. It just isn't consistent, you know, and I spent two hours on the phone the other day with Cricket, longest phone call ever, <laughs> and it worked for the regular shapes, but then when I did my stickers, it was still doing this, I was still having the same problem. However, I learned from Cricket TikTok that if you offset your image while it's small, it works out better, and then if you group it together and then flatten, I tried it and it worked perfectly so this is how they came out they came out even and so cute so thanks again for your help i really appreciate it um i'm just so happy that it's finally working <laughs> if i fuck with your best friend would you be mad what if i fuck with your best friend would you be mad if i fucked your dad and made you my stepson would you be mad Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm about to ask you. Please, hold on. Baby! Yeah? Can you come in for a second? I got a question. What's up? So, would you be gay for an hour for a billion dollars? Ask me no shit like that. I was just, it was a TikTok thing. I guess that was a no. Girl, you want anything from that stuff? Oh, my God! <laughs> They got a sale going on. Buy one, get one free. You better come get it while you're <laughs> Are black women loud or do white men just teach their women to shrink themselves down to nothing? Are black women loud or do white men just teach their women to shrink themselves down to nothing? I'm not black. I'm mixed. Why am I always defaulted to blackness? You're erasing my identity as a biracial. Biracial. Let's talk about it. Of course, the long list of biracial identities exists, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be focusing on black, white biracials. Why are black, white biracials defaulted to the black community? Well, until relatively recently, the idea of claiming both sides wasn't really a thing. White America didn't claim biracial people and actively fought to keep them out. There was whiteness, which was pure, and then there was levels of nakerdom. This is where, as I mentioned in my Yellow Bone is What He Wants series, which if you haven't watched, go watch it. We get terms like mulatto, which is a derivative of the word mule, quadroon, and octoroon. Please do not use any of those terms. They're very outdated, especially white people. Anything that was tainted with black blood was soiled, irreconcilable with whiteness. This is where we get the one drop rule. According to Wikipedia, the one drop rule is a social and legal principle of racial classification that was prominent in the 20th century in the United States. It asserted that any person with even one ancestor of black ancestry, one drop of black blood, is considered black. The point? To maintain the racial caste system. The distinction of them versus us. Only the pure could have access to the spoils of whiteness. This included schooling, housing, 
transportation, wealth, and overall status. With the end of the Civil War and subsequently slavery came the ramping up of white supremacist propaganda. The white hoods could feel their hands slipping off the reins of America. Therefore, it was time to up the ante to preserve their rightful place in the pecking order. Whenceforth came laws such as the Separate Car Act of 1890. But who cares if my great, 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 great grandfather was black? Racism that was being practiced in the U.S. was nonsensical, unjust, and it was high time for it to be challenged. At least Homer Plessy thought so and felt strongly enough about it to stir up a fuss. As such came the historic court case, Plessy versus Ferguson. The case entered the judiciary in 1892 when Homer Plessy and Octoroon, we know that word, we just learned that word, person of seven-eighths white and one-eighth black ancestry, resident of New Orleans, deliberately violated Louisiana's Separate Car Act of 1890. This law required black passengers to be seated in separate passenger cars on Louisiana railroads from white travelers. This man, this man right here, sat down on that white's only car and said, I shall not be moved and was taken to jail and later court. The outcome, as well as my thoughts on mixed identity today will be in the conclusion, part two. I was just talking to my friend the other day and she goes for these guys, they're, I don't know, they try to get her into drugs and they sag their pants and they're wannabe gangsters. They're, African. I just don't even know what to say. I, I don't know. Everybody's so sensitive about everything nowadays and it makes it hard for just everyday people to have a normal conversation. It's like, why do I have to be reduced to a color? Why do groups of color have to be bad? Humans are bad. People make mistakes. Why can't we just say it that way? Shoot, I'm judged off my skin color too. I love everybody. But you know the whole black guy thing is just not for me okay and not that there's anything wrong with that i mean it's just i just was assaulted by one so now i can't even be in the same room alone with one or i'll get afraid but you had white boyfriends yeah and these white boyfriends would be physically abusive to you yeah Several of them. Yeah. I hope I'm not offending you, am I? I'm not trying to be offensive. I really love, love having you working with me. You know, my godchildren are mixed. They're half black. Now, if I was racist, would that be the case? And I hear biracial children are some of the ones who got it the worst. Because they get racism from black people, too. I don't know, I just wish she would just go after the nice black guys. Cause they're out there. You know, if I was into that, I, I tried to introduce her to a couple guys I know that would be nice guys, you know, pay their bills, would help take care of her. But no, she just wants the bad ones. You know how you said humans are bad? If that's the case, why did you feel the need to mention that these men were black? just in alignment with your values something to um, think about this is for all my black people so if you are a non-black person keep scrolling i'll give y'all a second now that y'all still here what y'all thought i was gonna say i know y'all still here y'all thought i was giving black people the secret recipe to krabby patties if you don't want to be with me anymore just say that i don't want to be with you anymore steal when they see your collection the item that's least likely to be had by honest question y'all honest question because tiktok be making me feel like i am real poor like how do y'all be affording these bags what do i need to do what kind of jobs are y'all working like am i not spending my money right am i not making enough money because the most expensive bag i got is a michael kors bag from like seven years ago what do i need to do to get these bags what do I need to do? 
My first time seeing a white person was here in the US. As you know, I didn't have a TV back in Haiti and I didn't live in a tourist area. So as far as I was concerned, the only people in the world were black people. Then I come here and I'm met with the truth. And at first, logically, I just assumed that white people were just very, very, very light-skinned black people. But then this one little boy threw that theory completely out the window. He had the blondest of hair, the lightest of eyes, and the palest of skin, which wasn't saying much back then, but like still. And my brain did not know what to do with that information, so I just assumed he was terminally ill. And I remember being so confused as to why everybody was acting like this was nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, are we just gonna pretend that this boy is not dying? That he doesn't have one foot in the grave? That he's not at death's doorsteps? I mean, that's really nice of y'all and all, but like still. I didn't give you a little spook. No, not at all. <laughs> You're here a little later than usual. I know, little Sarah Bethany's dance recital ran late tonight. Aw, how did it go? I wouldn't know. I dropped her off and kept on driving. Call me Van Denzel from that movie Speedy and Furious because I sped on out of there. Oh, no! I know you guys are getting ready to close, so I just have a few items in my car. Yeah, okay. Look like you better get started or me and you are going to be closing. Together. One of you will betray me tonight. Is it me, Jesus? No. Is it me, Jesus? It's not you either. Is it me, Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? Can you say that again? Can I help you? My bad. Uh, can I get a four for four? A four for four? Which one? Junior bacon cheese. Junior bacon four for four? Okay. What's the drink? Uh, tropical berry. Can you make that a medium? And sauce? Barbecue. Okay, anything else? Can I get a ten piece, uh, extra ten piece nugget classic? And a ten piece nugget? Yes. Say anything else? Uh, the barbecue sauce. That's it. 921, thank you. Yep, thank you. When I get home, I want my meal on that table. I want my drink. You know I like my crown. I want it in a glass already prepared for me. And when I get up in this house, you better greet me. And you better greet me with yourself put together. I don't want none of that bonnet. You come up to me with no makeup on, with your little bonnet on, looking like you just woke up. I'm not having none of that. Now, if you can't do that, if you can't do that, then let me know and I can find somebody who will. Period. Can you believe he said that to her? And I was like, dude, no wonder why she left you. Because why would you say <laughs> something like that to her? Oh, you talking about Brian. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, you know, I would never <laughs> talk to you like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, dude, no wonder why you single. That's crazy. <laughs> Damn, can I help you all up in my face and shit? My nose. Oh my God, we still got 15 minutes left of this class, yo. Damn, that video must have been short as hell. Did you take notes on this video? You. You took notes. Bitch, let me see him, because I was over here knocked out like white snow. <laughs> Damn, the fuck did you write this in? Swahili and these? I can't understand this shit. My God, like. Hey, y'all. Huh? Oh, no, I just got in my car yesterday. It's a 2013 Honda Civic, bitch. What y'all doing for lunch? You wanna rob me Chick-fil-A? What? Boy, bye, you cannot ride with me. I can't even have boys in my car. Oh shit, bitch. 
I forgot to lock my car doors. Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson. Can I go check and see if my car doors is locked? Thank you. <laughs> Me walks into an electrical to do my terrorist. <laughs> the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> One out two X. <laughs> this is what I mean. <laughs> I hate it. When, <laughs> I hate when this happens. <laughs> now that's fair action. <laughs> the ultimate way to serve corn to your guests. <laughs> 